What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer from Tor O in Copenhagen, Denmark. This is Sir Mosaic. And right there, that's the logo for the brewery, To O. Uh, no notes from the brewery website or on the can about the beer itself, but uh, a little bit of information about this uh, this brewery from Denmark. Let's get this straight. To'o is what's called a gypsy brewery, or pirate nomad contract gold digger brewery, whatever suits your fancy. Basically, this means that we don't own our own brewing facilities, but lend in at other brewery breweries with spare capacity. Being gypsy is a trust-bound marriage with the production facility. The, re the relationship is built on experience, mutual understanding, and a shared passion for quality and the desire for developing and pushing forward. Producing at breweries we have a long history with ensures consistency for the product. Producing at breweries we have no experience with is eye-opening and develops new approaches. We try to do a nice mix of these two. So if you want to visit our brewery, it is not because we are impolite snobs that we decline your inquiry. Uh, Kitsin and Saint Sir Mosaic is a dry hopped sour ale. Comes in a just over a pint can and is incredibly very, very carbonated, as you can see. Pretty much it was close to half a glass when I, uh, when I poured it and it was flowing over the top a little bit as well. Uh, in terms of color, a nice orange to gold color. A little bit hazy. I can see my fingers on the other side of the glass, but it is blocked up a little bit. And some, some kind of gold yellow highlights compared to the, the gold orange uh, when I hold it up to the light. All right, I'm going to give this a moment to, uh, to settle down film-wise, and then I'll be back for the taste. All right, the head's settled down. As you can see, got a, a finger's worth, just a little, a little less than that left over. Let's uh, give it a taste. Getting a uh, getting some pine notes. A little bit of sweetness, a little just a little bit of funk as well. A mild hot bite to it. Uh, really tends to come through more in the second half of the drinking experience. Though I do notice the bitterness is uh, starting to build the more the more sips I take. The first sip or two is uh, virtually non-existent and it is starting to build. And it, it tends to hang around as an aftertaste after I've uh, after I finish my sip. Not really getting for being what how they call it dry hopped. Dry hop sour ale, getting much, much more of the, the hoppy characteristics than I am anything I expected when they refer to it as uh, a sour beer or a sour ale. Maybe just a, a hint of a citrus note. Uh, could be kind of a, a more of a lemony than like an orange or a grapefruit. That might be where that that sour notes live in it doesn't necessarily it might be a hop characteristic but it seems to be again I, I find the top character characteristics tend to be a lot more orange or grapefruit or going into tropical fruits and then, then uh, kind of like uh, bitter sour lemon
Yeah, just a citrus hint and that my palate's acclimated, that sweet note is almost completely gone now as well. Really, to be honest, kind of drinks to me like an IPA. Uh, maybe just a little bit, a little bit more going on the, with that, uh, again, with that lemony note. And to me, the lemon is like right in the front, but the back half to two thirds of the drinking experience is all IPA qualities, pale ale to IPA qualities, for me anyway. Yeah, a little bit of pine in the front, uh, funkiness in the back, and a little bit of that, uh, a little bit of that citrus note there, kind of in the, the front to middle. Uh, it's a good beer. I, I am enjoying it very much so, but uh, it's certainly not quite what I expected. And if you're looking for something on the, the sour side, uh, this is not it. I will tell you that much. Excuse me. I will also know because I failed too earlier. It comes in at six percent ABV. I did find that on the uh, on the can here in the fine print, which is in multiple languages. Yep, yeah, comes in a. I'm guessing that's a uh, English, of course, but I'm guessing as well. I'm thinking it's a uh, Dutch. Yeah, because the other thing I wanted to mention, um, they talked about being a Gypsy Brewery. It says here on the can, brewed and canned. By Toto at De Bruff Brouwerwijs, De Bruff De Bruff Brouwerwijs in Belgium. Um, so obviously, they're the brewery's based in Denmark, in Copenhagen. They're making that beer in uh, in Belgium, and as I said, that's likely one just one of many breweries that they are utilizing to make their to make their line of beers. So that is the Toto. There it is again, the logo again, To'o Sir Mosaic. And that is it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all of my reviews, video and written, along with news commentary and more at PoorlyReviewedBeer.com. You can also find me on Twitter, Facebook, Untapped, and Instagram. All those links and usernames are in the description below. If you are so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.